being a man makes one accept the risk in full force without thinking of a possible implication. What makes my achievement stand out compared to every other person's achievement is risk. Not everyone was born with a soldier spirit. Mr. Ali, being present during all these previous wars and even facing death, how do you intend to cope living a simple life after your retirement? Everyone values a simple life. But it's only a fantasy when we discover life is about being tough. To fend for our families, getting to experience my retirement days is a pure chance of luck. Interesting, Mr. Ali. And I, in turn, offer them the opportunity of traveling with me to every country and state I get transferred to. That decision blessed me and cursed me at the same time. How did you manage to be a soldier and raising a family? My family needed to help me as much as I had to serve the nation. You mean the decision blessed you and cost you? Do you mind explaining further on that? I... Could you excuse me for a moment? Please, I'll be back shortly. All right, definitely. Definitely. <sighs> Dad. What? I don't like this. I don't like it. Huh? Why do you keep allowing these people to stress you for no reason? Why? I'm just gonna go and kick that girl out. I no. don't like it. Don't do that. <sighs> Thank God I survived everything. I shouldn't be selfish to let out information on my experience. I shouldn't. to discomfort you, Mr. Ali. I could continue whenever you want. Madam, there's no point in continuing anything, okay? No point. Just leave. Leave this house now. Excuse me. Are you deaf? Are you stupid? I said leave! Wait, wait, wait. In fact, wait. My father, is he the only ex-soldier on earth that's alive? Is he? So why do you keep harassing him with your stupid, pointless, meaningless questions? Why? It's to her! <laughs> Dad, I have to. I don't like it. She's stressing you out. And it's pissing me off. It makes me so angry. Leave this place! Leave! It was great to have interviewed you, Mr. Ali. I leave now. It's alright. I don't want to see your face or your feet in this house anymore, okay? Let it be the last time. It all. It all. That was rude. I had to. Dad, I had to. You know, I can't just let her come in here and she keeps stressing you. You'll be wrecking your brain over your career, your past career. You don't need to be thinking about such things, Dad. You don't need to. That thing will end you. It's not good for your health. It's not. The next time I see her, I won't be kind. I was kind to her today. Next time. I won't be so nice. I won't be nice next time, oh. Good. Thank you, sir. 
you are enjoying it, sir. Yeah, that long show is good. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your meal, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I, I don't like. I don't like what you're telling me. I do not like what you're telling me. I don't like all this nonsense. Hmm. Shut up! Shut up! You're talking too much. Listen, I'm tired of talking about the same thing over and over and over and over again. So listen to me. I'm only going to say this once, okay? Those computers I ordered from Germany, nobody should touch them, okay? If anybody touches them, they have me to deal with. That? You have come back to connect easy, young lady. Maybe those idiots in the office need to give me a reason to take it easy on them. They are so dumb. Dad, they're dumb. You know, I have to say the same thing over and over and over and over again. And they don't even listen. You know, all the time I'm just talking, talking, talking. Mariam. respect yourself, Mary. Why can't you respect yourself? So you can't even cook? <sighs> Marion, how many times have I told you I do not eat food without pepper? How many times? Hmm? This food tastes like vomit. Vomit. You do Why would you say that? Because it's exactly how I feel, Dad. Look at the rubbish food. Am I supposed to eat this? I can't even manage it. I can't eat it. Go! What's Idris' problem? Hmm? What's Idris? Am I the only beautiful woman in this world? Am I? You need to leave me alone. I will slow up on my. Who is disturbing my peace this early morning? Who is it? Mariam? Mariam! Seems I'm dull. I don't let no stranger in me. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? You know, if you said good morning, it wouldn't hurt. Idris, morning. What are you doing here today? You know it's weekend. Why are you here? Oh, we have movie plans for afternoon. Did you forget? <sighs> That's true. That's true. But you know I have to work. I usually go to work. And my work is more important than all of these date things. Besides, you should understand. I haven't been picking up any of your calls, have I? Are you being serious right now? I'm sorry, okay? I'm really, really, really sorry. I gotta go. I really have to go. I gotta go. I'm sorry. But you know what? You can stay. You know, stay. You can have anything you want. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Feel free. Mariam will look after you. Mariam! Mariam! Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. Look after him, okay? Give him whatever he wants. Okay. Make sure you take good care of him. Yes, Mum. Very good care of him. Okay. Alright then, darling. You like this yam, this potato, this mama. Don't worry about it. Alright? I'm fine. Okay. 
Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'll be going to the market, sir. So I want to know what you want for lunch, sir. Hmm. Anything. Anything good. As long as it was not going to call anything, no mind. Okay, sir. Yeah. Apologies for the way she gets to talk to you. Honestly, I wish I could change that. But it's impossible. It's okay, sir. You know, madam is a woman of power, sir, so I'm used to her right now. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, sir. Yes. Hello, Mr. Ali. How are you doing today? Correct. How are you doing today? I'm good. Very good. Um, I wouldn't know if you'd be free to continue your interview. Um, I still have some questions to ask you, sir. Yes, yes. It's okay. All right. I'll be on my way. All right. I'll respect you. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> I won't let you down, Papa. Let you. I'll let you down. <laughs> but there's no point not letting out my experience. I'm no longer in practice so young. So, any information that will help build a book, why well, shouldn't I let it out? So, you know my reason for saying that, sir. Don't worry about it to her. She has no one to insult her. Not today. Okay, if you say so, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, I cannot explain that. Of all the things I am grateful for during my years of service, I was blessed with the best of friends. Now, I'll show you something. Let me show you this. I, I kept her. I kept this one instead of my cover. These men were more than friends to me. When I couldn't reach my family, they were there for me in my absence. They found time, you know, to be there with my children, exchanging information and even money sometimes. Now, you see this? This man here? His name is Sugo. He was a good friend. You see this man at this very end? He was more than a best friend. His name is Ahmed. He did not only help my family in my absence. He was always my backbone during wars. He was the reason I survived. But uh, 
Of what? I lost him. And it was all my fault. I will never forgive myself for it. Never. What do you mean it was your fault? What happened? I'm sorry. It's deep. I can't talk about it. I can't. Yes, you can. Please tell me. What happened? Did you shoot him? I think... Uh, we should call it a day. Okay, sir. Thanks for the information. I'll look forward to our next meeting, sir. Thank you. Mariam, Mariam, Mariam. You need to go on a diet, Mariam. You need to eat healthy. So you need to go shopping, okay? Yes, ma'am. Buy some healthy food. I think we should have boiled plantain. Eat what sauce, ma'am? Give me an option. What are the options? You can do vegetable sauce, egg sauce, fish and tomato sauce, ma'am. Mm, vegetable sauce. Okay. And then for dinner, what should we have? You decide on something. Decide. Think of something. What are we having for dinner? Okay. Since we are going on a diet, ma, I was thinking we should do strictly food. Hmm. Mariam, you're learning. Thank you, ma. You're learning. And then tomorrow, what are we having? Um, tomorrow, more more. The custard. But we'll have them um, fish and egg inside the morning. Idris, Idris, Idris. Idris is too sensitive. Too sensitive. Okay, so. Moi moi. Fish and egg inside the moi moi with custard. Is that oil in moi moi? Little oil. Dad, are you okay? Of course, yes. I'm okay. How's your work? Dad, you're not okay. You're not. Why do you keep allowing that bamboo stick of a girl coming here anyway? Why? I'm not comfortable, Dad. I'm not comfortable with all these stupid questions she's asking you. Is she trying to make a movie or do a video or what rubbish book does she want to write anyway? That's why it's not your business. Everything about you is my business. Everything. Your health, your wealth, your life, love, 
money, everything is all my business. Okay. That's why you should get a better responsibility by getting married. So that you won't have to bother about me. You won't have to bother about your daddy. Huh. You. I'm just trying to help. Daddy, I'm trying to help. You don't have to be insulting me every time. I'm just trying to help. Where are you now? Where are you? You are? You are better. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. What's up with that text message you sent me yesterday? Wait, what? So you, you, you called me over here to question me about a text message? Is it a crime to want to be clear about something? Huh? Listen, 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 listen. That message you sent me yesterday was so annoying and highly irritating. Okay? I'm a boss. I am a CEO. I control a lot of things and I have a lot of people working for me. So basically, I can only see you when I'm free. Is that right? Hmm, is that so? I see. So tell me, what about me? I make time to see you, even with my busy schedule. So does that automatically mean that I'm wasting my time? You know, that's not even my challenge with you. You know, I came here today because you called me over and I'm expecting some sort of like an apology or a do-over or something. I don't know, but definitely not this. <laughs> apology. You must be joking, right? Look, babe, I am seriously over this constant quarrels whenever we want to see. How else are we supposed to work this relationship out if we don't even get to see each other? How else? Hi, right, sir. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. Thank you. Good. It's all. Come back here. Dad, Dad, I have a headache. I have a headache, please. I need to go and rest. But you have a visitor. He understands. Uh, well, anyway, please ignore her attitude. Okay? It's just sometimes like that. Yeah, it's fine. I'm used to it. I love her still. Tell me, how are you feeling? How's your health? I'm okay. I'm just okay. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, please, my son. I got you. Thank you, sir. You see, uh, Idris, I've been wanting to tell you something. All right. I see you've been showering a lot of love on my daughter and everything. But she has never related anything about marriage to me. Don't you love her enough to spend your life with her? Well, um, actually, sir, I was... Uh... I was planning on proposing very soon. <laughs> great, <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> you see, uh, I have observed that you're such a tolerant young man. I have to be. And I am convinced that you both will be great together. Thank you, sir. You want a drink? Yes, yes, please. Great. Thank you. Uh, uh, all right. Excuse me. I am me, <sighs> can't you see? Mariam. You cannot change who I am. I love me, can't man. you see? What's going on? Bam. I found him. Ali. It don't matter what you're gonna What's say. What's up? I'm good. I don't understand you, man. I thought you said we're not going out tonight for drinks. Well, these things happen and I changed my mind. I'm a human being. I'm allowed to do that. Well, let me think. Um... Your girlfriend disappointed you again? Look, I don't want to talk about it, okay? I don't understand you, bro. You never criticize this babe. Even though most times she behaves like a man. No, it's clearly a concept that you don't understand. Because these things happen when you're in love. You should try it sometime. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, I don't want that kind of love. It's toxic. Right. I mm. hear you. Can we go, please? No, and if I say I'm not going, what will Stay. you do? Stay. <laughs> I 
have learned as a soldier that when I have an opportunity to be with my family, I love them with everything. Knowing that when I leave, I may never see them again. I may never. It's a life of weeks I've seen, Mr. Ali. Yeah, you're right. But this question I asked you, and you never really responded. Mm -hmm. Okay, including this book, it's the center of gravity. Please try and give me an answer. Please. How do I answer this now? Go ahead and ask. You mentioned something about traveling to where you get posted to as being a blessing and a cause. Can you please explain that? Oh. <sighs> You know, as a soldier, you owe your loyalty and allegiance to your country. So, uh, I killed people. Yes, a lot of people who wanted to pull down this country. Uh, bandits, terrorists, kidnappers, criminals, name them. And this influenced each other badly. Oh, you should have seen the look, the excitement on our face each time I returned home after each conquest. She loved to see me kill those bad people. And she's never a soldier. I made her see the soldier in me. I exposed her to life in the barracks. It was war. When I tried to stop her when she wanted to become a soldier after her secondary school, you see, I wanted to groom a woman and not a man. Losing her mother during birth was enough pain because I, I, I wasn't there for her for good six months because of my job. I still feel the pain till this day. <sighs> having it with her was more like having something to hold on to. So, I named her after her mother, but uh, she turned out to be worse than a man. That's what I meant by curse. You shouldn't take it like that, Mr. Ali. She can change. I know. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, she cannot change. She just can't change. I envied my best friend, Ahmed. He too was a widower with just a daughter. But he never exposed his family to life in the barracks. I'm sure his daughter is more of a woman now than a soldier's daughter. I wouldn't know, Mr. Ali. About this, your friend, I have some questions to ask you. Mm. 
The last time I asked about your friend, your pencil. Why? Arnett was more than a friend to me. As a matter of fact, he was one of those people who made sure I never got shot. On what ground? But I was not just there to save his life. During a breakout in the bus, oh, he died. What about his family? I don't mean to. Okay. I don't mean to. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, it's because this is the first time I'm getting to talk about this. You see, I never visited his child after his demise. God knows I would have adopted her. But it's not necessarily your fault, sir. The guilt was just too much of me. The pain. It wasn't necessarily your fault, sir. So I should be on my way. I'll start the book immediately, sir. Thank you very much. This information has really, really helped me immensely. Thank you. You won't be able to walk out of here. I'm not a soldier woman to fight. And what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? You think this interview is all about me? It's way more than that. Really? Dad, Dad, let go. I'm not going to touch you. You're sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Go on then, spill. What's this interview about? No. I took the risk of getting insult from people like you. It's on. Stop it. I value my late father's past life. And I'm publishing a book about him. And your father is the only one that knew him too well. It's her. Your father? Your late father? Yes, my father. Your late father? And who was that? Late Hamid Haruna. What? Oh my God. I'm the only daughter he had. I found my way here from the north. Not because I'm jobless. I have emotions. And I'm publishing a book about him. And your father means a lot to me. So I expected this from you, Ituma. Well, get this. The next thing you're gonna expect from me is a bullet in your head. Okay? If I see you in this house again, expect a bullet at the back of your head. That's what you should expect next time.
Nobody cares. That girl deserved everything she got. You know, she was trespassing. She deserves it. What? It seems you don't get it. This said Ahmed, you are not describing that so card. Was that same Uncle Ahmed of your childhood that always visited you and my sister when I wasn't present? Uncle Ahmed? That's right. Really? That is his daughter? Go and apologize to her as soon as possible. And I mean it. There's no point, Dad. She's gone. And besides, she's done with the questioning, you know? She's done with all these questioning. No point. I see. You are dressed with rudeness, young lady. Now listen. Don't let me drop a threat on you. Do what you should do. And I must be present there. Understood? Understood? Welcome. Come here. All day you just been cooking. What did you even cook? Take my bag inside. Come back here. Have I finished talking? Have I finished talking? Get me ice water, cold water with ice. Make sure the glass is clean. Take my bag What's his glasses? It don't matter what you're gonna say. Come back! Bring that room. Bring the water, quick. Everybody's just annoying me in this house. Someone's annoying me. this stupid girl that whole me should apologize to what the hell does she think she is he's all this kind of nonsense that really really pisses me off come in Ma, should I oh, oh for goodness sake what is wrong with this idris what's wrong with this man is it a crime to be in a relationship is it he's always stalking me Ma, I think you should hear him out. I'm sorry if you have something to say. Mm. Maybe you're right. What? Again? Idris, not again. But how many times will I tell you, please call before coming to my house? No, I can't come downstairs because I'm tired. Well, that's your business. It's not mine. You just do what you want. I can't come downstairs. I'm tired. Please, I need to rest. Bye. This guy is so annoying. I don't think he really knows how much it irritates me. He doesn't know how much he annoys me. Mariam, it's your fault. You're the one that made me answer this stupid call. You know that, right? I'm sorry, ma. But ma, I'm I'm not sure it's gonna hurt anybody if you try and see him. I'm sure he has something to say. That's why he's here, ma. So you will now become my special advisor, Madam Maria, maybe? No, no, ma, no, ma. I, I was just thinking out loud, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Mm. Maybe for once, for once, your brain might be working. Maybe. Let me call them. Drop the clothes there. I'll sort that myself. Okay, well, thank you. Hey.
Idris. Are you still downstairs? Okay, I'm coming. Hey. Hi. Is, is this what you're wearing out? Out to where? I only came out to see you briefly. I'm not going anywhere. I'm tired. I need to rest. Oh, okay. If, if you say so. I guess I'm going to have to do this right here and right now. Do what? Yeah. For everything that you are now and will become, I have loved and will always love. Spending the rest of my life with you is my desire. Please, it's my, don't, don't say no. Are you serious? Do you mean this? Do you actually meant it when you said you wanted to propose? That's, that's the point of me being in a relationship. I can't give you a response today. I can't. I can't. But well, let me think about it. And I'll give you an answer soon. I promise. <sighs> um, okay, but... Okay, but... Do you promise it will be a positive answer? You see, you're acting like a child now. You're acting like a child. I will give you an answer soon. It could be negative, it could be positive. At least it will be an answer. Are we done? Yes, I, I guess so. Take care of yourself. I am me, can't you see? You cannot change who I am. I love me, can't you see? It don't matter what you're gonna say. I am me, can't you see? I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, man. So why are we bonding tonight? Wait, uh, I am not. So, you've been acting strangely lately. What's up? Are you regretting your decision to get engaged? Oh, she said no! <coughs> See, it's probably for the best. Let me tell you, she's too tough for you. Look, I, I know that she can be crazy most times, alright? I know that. She's, I, I just wasn't expecting this from her. Well, maybe it's for the best. If you want my advice. I don't want your advice and maybe you should mind your business. Oh, alright. I hands up, man. Well, let's go. Listen, yeah. This really, really is my thing. But... Since it's compulsory for me to apologize, then. You cannot change who I am. Sorry. I love me. Sorry for almost knocking you out. That's okay. I hold nothing against you. Fine. Lila, please. Don't mind my daughter, okay? She's a hard nut. Now, seriously, <laughs> I still find it difficult to believe that you're my best friend's daughter. But why did you tell me from the very first day? I thought she wouldn't believe me. Uh, now I see why you're 
so interested in making this book. <laughs> I know that I promised to help, but right now I'm making a pledge that I am going to support you fully. You see, whatever you want, feel very free to ask me. I will provide it because I want you to publish the book. I want to make sure that it is a success, okay? Thank you, sir. In fact, you are my daughter now because your father was bigger than a friend. He was closer than family to me. So, this house is your home. As far as I'm concerned, you are my second daughter. And so, feel very free to stay or do anything that you like in this place. I owe you that care, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, no, oh, don't say that. <laughs> uh, you don't. You see, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, just go by my words, okay? Now, Ito, this is your sister. She has a right to sleep or stay here. So, love her and accept her, okay? All right, are we done here? I've got some emails I want to send. Are we done? So, how has life been with you since your childhood? Very well. All I wanted was an opportunity to have this talk with you about the whole experience with my dad. And you will have more. <laughs> Thank you. I never imagined I would meet Ahmed's daughter in my old age. I'm happy for you, Dad. Really happy for you. And the resemblance is so much. <gasps> hmm. in Idris recently. Hope you guys are good. Dad, please. I just want to eat my food in peace. You know? Please. What have you done? Yeah. Nothing. I haven't done anything. But I'm just still thinking about whether to accept him or not. He proposed? Yes, he did. But I don't think I will oblige. I don't think so. But why? Daddy, I don't know. I don't know. I just, there's just so many things about him that irritates me, you know? He's just so soft. He's always apologetic. He's like a teenager. He's just... He's not the right kind of guy for me. <sighs> Jesus, what have I groomed you to become, my girl? Huh? Idris is a good man. I'm telling you this from the perception of a father, and I know that he loves you. What else do you want? What else? Look, don't lose a good man to your stupidity. It's a seven good home. It's all. Be 
be wise. Others say I'm not cool, but make I let you know I no send you. So mind your business, make I mind my own. There we Day your own, I make a day my own. There we It's not a must for you to like my own. There we Yes, sir. Mind yes, sir. Look, not too busy. No, sir. Yeah. I want to be on something. Okay, sir. Can you imagine that my daughter refused marriage proposal from interest? Ah, ah, sir. Why, why, sir? The reason, according to her, is that uh, the young man is just too soft and all that. What else am I going to do to make this girl realize that she is a woman and she should act like one? Ah, sir, please, you have to calm down. You know the state of your health. Ah. Now, I can't even tell her that I have prostate cancer. I don't know how she's going to receive it. Obviously, she will be devastated. She will. I know, sir. That's why you have to take things easy on yourself, sir. The only help you can give Madame right now is to be advising her from time to time. You know what the doctor said about your health, sir. Please, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome, sir. You may go. Thank you, sir. Stupid cleaner made me lose 500,000 naira. Half a million naira. You were there when I told that idiot. Do not touch my computers. I imported from Germany. Dad, you heard me. You heard me. What did she do? She manhandled it and broke it. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine the stupidity? They relieve her of her job. Yes, I will do that. But she needs to be punished first. She has to be punished. The animal is here. Don't touch her. Don't. Gates, open the gates. Where is that fool? Where is that fool? Please, mom. Please, mom, I'm so sorry. Please. You're sorry? What are you sorry about? What? Hmm? What are you sorry about? What? My... You made me lose half a million naira. Yeah? Why? It was a mistake, my please. My, it was a mistake. I'm so sorry. Mistake? How was it a mistake? How? How was it a mistake? You be cleaning my computer with this, your strong, strong, strong hands. How many times did I tell you to be gentle? How many times? Huh? Ma, please. I, I, I can forfeit my job, please. But oh, please, don't, don't want me, please, ma. Please, ma. So all you care about is your job. Is that all you care about? What about my computers? What about my computers? <laughs> Sorry. I'm coming. What? <laughs> Itoha! You dare not touch her with this. You dare not. Dad, please, please, leave me to handle my business, okay? That girl needs to be punished. She needs to be punished. Okay. Handle my business. <laughs> Stop it! Come back here! What rubbish? Let me have the belt. What wrong? 
What wrong did I commit while raising you that you became this heartless? Heartless? Dad, I'm not heartless. I just don't like nonsense. Different things. Itoa, you beat up your worker. God. Is it because she is a cleaner? Look, if that lady sues you for domestic abuse, what will be your defense? She can't try that. Sue me. She's the one that broke the screens of my expensive computers due to her cleaning. Is she cleaning a rock? Doesn't she know she's cleaning something sensitive? She deserves everything she got. I see. There's no point arguing with you. I won't argue with you. But listen, this attitude of yours can only buy you a lonesome life that could make you a pure sadist. to work, Dad. That's not possible. Try me and face my wrath. Yeah, you cannot change who I am. I love me, can't you see? It don't matter what you're gonna say. So mind your business, make a mind my own. They are on and make a day my own. For you to like my own, they your land and make a day my soul. So mind your business, make a mind my own. They your land and make a day my own. It's not a must for you to like my own. They your own and make a day my soul. Mind your business, make a mind my own. They your land and make a day my own. It's not a must for you to like my own. At least I don't have to deal with this teenager anymore. Am I supposed to be sad? It's over. At least I am not the one forcing anyone to break up now. For a good one week you've been calling her and she refused to take your call. What other proof do you need to know that this woman does not want you? Look, Jimmy, I hear what you say, alright? I hear you loud and clear, but look, I am a broken man. I am heartbroken. Ito and I have been together for five years, ever since final year in the university. I, I feel like she's a part of me, so for her to be behaving like this, it, it confuses me. Idris, you don't have to be confused, alright? I'm sorry to say this, but that man, that man you wanted to get married to has single-handedly signed out. So I'd advise that you look for another woman with a woman's blood and get married to. As for me, I'm already searching. So maybe I'll buy that ring from you. You don't, you don't even have to buy any ring. You can have it. It's yours. Oh, all right. Thank you, man. But hey, it is. Don't cry for a woman. It's strong. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the situation. <laughs> You need something to eat? 
Oh, no, Sam, I'm fine. Thank okay. you. I'm good. I'm sure she will be here in no time. Mr. Ali, are you sure this is even going to work? Yeah, that's why we have to try. You know something, Lila? I love my daughter. But what she has become, frankly, I can't cope with that. And I don't think any man can cope either. Huh. Is this a joke or what? Dad, what's going on here? Is she the reason I'm supposed to stay back from work? You're not just not going back to work. You are also retreat of your duties. What? Until you have become who you will be. No, 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 Dad, this is not happening. I cannot imagine anybody taking my place at work. Nobody, especially not this thing. Woman, you better start imagining. Anyway, lie down. Over to you. You know, you, I leave everything to you. If she misbehaves or does anything, like if she, if she abuses you, I give you a DPS number. Just call it. I'm sure by the time she spends one night in police custody, that will contribute to reshaping her head. <laughs> I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Dad, you can't do this. You can't do it to me. Girl. Better start believing. Wait. So what exactly is it that you want me to become, Dad? What? What exactly? That's why Lila is here. She will take you through all that. Anyway, I'm out. <coughs> Now listen, let me remind you, if you misbehave, you stand the risk of losing ownership of my business. Listen to me, Layla, Lila, or whatever you call yourself. I said, listen to me. I'm angry. I'm absolutely livid. Okay. So when you and dad discuss, it's not happening today. It happens when you Okay. It's not a must for me to like my own. Lay on in and make a day my soul. Mind your business, make a mind my own. Lay on in and make a day my own. It's not a must for you to like my own. Yes, as I was saying, it's a good idea, right? Oh, so, me, I don't know. Madame is too tough for her to be murdered at this point, sir. So. <sighs> That's why I must exhaust all means. You see, I'm beginning to lose up in everything, especially my health. Ah, so please don't say that too. Well, it's true. And the doctor says uh, anything can happen anytime. And I don't want the only blood that I have on earth to constitute a nuisance. I want the best for her. The best. I know, sir. I know. God will help her and help you too, sir. <laughs> Uh, let me check what I have in the kitchen. Yeah, right, Should I take the water or yeah, you? Okay, okay so. thank you, sir. Who is 
it? It's me, Leila. At this ungodly hour, what is this girl even doing? This girl, this girl, this girl. What do you want? Can I come in? No. Why are you here? What? Remember the last time I said you were so jealous? I wasn't the only one that had experienced that. It's all harm. Let me help you. I'm here to help you. This is sickening. I don't need your help. Okay? I don't need it. No, Dad, not my gun. Daddy, no, not my gun. You can't take my gun. People say I'm so rude, but if it's at my heart, I know it's not true. Others say I'm not cool, but make I let you know I know send you. People say I'm so rude, but if it's at my heart, I know it's not true. Where's my father? I've been seeing him all day. He traveled this morning for his medical check up. What? Traveled where? What medical check up? And how come he didn't tell me? He told me to tell you, Ma, that you may be away for a while. <laughs> That's crazy. Grab my phone. Nicole. He, he also mentioned, Ma, that he will not be taking any call except Leila soon, Ma. Hmm. I can see where this is heading. And it's absolute nonsense. Don't you think so? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? No, 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 not now, Leila. I have no time for this. Let's go shopping. Let's go get you some nice dresses. Go. Okay. I can't wear that. It's too girlish. What are you? Okay. It's not about what I am. It's about what I like and what I don't like. I don't like that. If so, you wouldn't lose your position in your father's company. So, go get dressed. I am me, can't you see? You cannot change who I am. I love me, can't you see? It don't matter what you're gonna do. No, 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 sit. Please, I like my privacy. I am me, can't you see? You cannot change who I am. I love me. Can't you see? Wow. It, it don't matter beautiful. what you gonna say. I can't wear this. I can't wear this. It's too girlish. I can't. I can't wear this, man. <laughs> Do you want your money to waste? This is sick. You have to try all this. Oh, this. Yeah. Do you know what? Let's continue tomorrow, okay? Let's continue tomorrow. Who? Am 
Mariam, who owns that? Yes. They are mine. Why are they here? I forgot to mention. I'll be your new roommate for now. No, no, you're not. No, 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 no. It was your father's decision, so I guess you have no choice. So dad told me that he was always so hard and he's like probably shot a man or killed, a, killed several guys with his gun. And that's why I love guns, because of that. And how do you feel about it? I love it. I can imagine how it would feel to kill somebody. It feels so good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you must be kidding. Really? You don't think about desires like that? Killing people. Well, he's shooting somebody. Well. I don't even know how I feel about it, to be honest. No idea. Mariam! Mariam! Yes, Mariam. Yes, Take and clear the dishes. Don't you touch it. Done. It's her job. I know, but that doesn't give you the authority to speak to her like that or any worker at all. Mariam is on standby to do all these things for me. That's her job. She's literally on standby to be there when I call. Mariam, was she rude? No matter. No. But first, you apologize. Why? What for? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Let me apologize. Mariam. Ah, oh, ma, please, please, ma, I'm sorry, ma. Don't apologize, ma. Please, I don't want to lose my job. You don't have to apologize, ma. I'm sorry, ma. You were not rude, ma. I'm sorry. Relax. Calm down, Mariam. I'm just apologizing. You were not rude, ma. You were not rude. Ma. I want to apologize. Okay? I'm sorry for being rude to you if I was. Thank you, ma. Is that better? Better. Now you're becoming a more beautiful woman. <laughs> Brilliant. Stand up. Thank you. Now you will talk well with the please. Please? To who? Marion? Even to your cleaner, if so. <laughs> Please to Mariam, cleaner and my staff. No, 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 no. Girl, you're asking too much. You're asking for too much. Go on. Mariam. Please. Please carry the dishes into the kitchen. Okay, ma. Better? Better. See, I'm getting there, ain't I? <laughs> Girl, you need to understand, seriously. I know what I'm saying. Some people are just dumb, stupid, and naturally rude. I have to shout at them to get them to do anything. If not, nothing will be done. Absolutely nothing. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. Screaming doesn't make you powerful. Rather, you'll be more reasonable when you don't let their rudeness get to you by talking normally. <laughs> well, talking normally to them will make me look weak. And I'm not weak. I'm a very strong woman. It will make you look stronger. Because shouting at everyone will make people to hate you. And you will end up being lonely for the rest of your life. So, you're saying that 
I should talk. I should talk nicely and calmly to these guys. Every time. Remember your please and thank you. <laughs> Even to your domestic workers. To marry and Nicole. Okay. I'll try. I'll try. Girl, please, listen. Let me just call my dad. I just want to hear his voice. I really, really miss him. That's not me. Your father said the next time he wants to hear from you, he wants to hear a new Itoha. And that's when he is back. Hopefully he is back soon. So we should be working on making yourself better. Fine. Good. One thing left before we pronounce your door with these lessons. More? What again? Your father told me about your boyfriend, Idris. What is wrong with that man? I really don't want to talk about Idris. He mentioned you said no to his engagement because he is charges or so. Would you give me the gist yourself? Girl, where do I even start? Listen, yeah. Idris. Idris is too soft for me. He's too soft. He apologizes for everything. Okay, example. I'm the one at fault, yeah. I have an argument, I shout at him, I'll tell him off, I will do the wrong things, yet he will still apologize to me. How can? I can't cope, I can't cope with it. I need a strong man, somebody strong. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> you mean you said no to his proposal because he's a good man? <laughs> Come on, would you have preferred a man that yells at you, a man that doesn't even apologize at all? So you're now saying it's okay for a man to be soft? My dear, God blessed you with a good man. All you said against him are what women are praying in men. He is the bomb! If I were you, I would pick up my phone and call him. Get your man back. But... I thought men are meant to be authoritative. You know, it's always been me and dad. And that's what I'm used to. And I'm used to strong men. I'm used to men in power. No. So men are just nice. If I were you, I would pick up my phone and get my man back. And the easiest way to go about it now is to invite him over for a makeup dinner tomorrow. I think it's too late. <laughs> it's your decision this time. Idris? Maybe you should try this dating app. That's a no, I'm not interested now. Free me. Oh, sorry. Dating app. Dating app. Babe. Sorry, bro. Ito. Ito. She finally remembers you exist. It's normal for him to get mad. I think I've lost him. Don't say that. Keep trying. At least one last time. For the record. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, sure, tomorrow, tomorrow sounds fine. Alright then, um, have a good night. Okay. Alright then. Bye. <laughs> that was splendid, baby girl. I know, right? <laughs> Look, I could tell from his voice that he was so surprised. I don't think he knew it was me at first. Now he will love you even more. So we need to get your mom back into her. Yes, yeah. I agree. First on the line, we need to get your hair done and get you a beautiful dinner dress. Oh, what has she called you for? <laughs> First of all, guy, that does not sound like the one that I know. She, she sounds different, very different actually. Wait. By different, what do you mean? You mean she sounded good different or bad different? Excellence. Not even good. I mean, she she sounded calm and she, she even apologized. She apologized, guy. Oh. If I didn't know her voice, I'd probably think it was a different woman. Oh. So, what did she say? She was calling to know if I'd want to come over to her place for dinner tomorrow night. Or maybe she wants to give me an actual reason why she doesn't want to marry me. Oh, maybe she wants to say yes. I don't put my mind to that. You said she sounded different, right? Yes. That counts for something, you know. Maybe you should try proposing again tomorrow. What do you think? You know, I cannot believe I'm sharing all of these problems with a female friend. You know, I've not had a female friend since I was in nursery. Not even while Dad and I were living in London. Seriously? Yes. So basically, that's probably why I was like a hardened man. Because it's always been me and Dad. <sighs> that's so hard felt. <laughs> but listen, yeah. I want you to know this. I really, really appreciate you. Thanks for everything you've done. And I want you to hang around after all of this. I really appreciate our friendship. I can't believe you're saying this. <laughs> You! You! I can't believe I'm saying it. <laughs> I can't, but friendship forever. <sighs> I didn't realize that uh, it's all I had a friend. Now you know. Please, can you guys have your seats? Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. Ma, you can now see that it wasn't about it. Yeah, that I tagged along. What are you talking about? That get so hard for you. What are you talking about? Have you seen me? I'm a catch. Right. Catch indeed. Hi guys! Wow! Babe, hey, you, you, you look... What's up? Do I look strange or something? No, you just... you look different. Different in a good way? <laughs> in a great way. Okay. It's high time we started Dad. Again, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Welcome sit down. Let's sit down. Um, I hope I'm not too late for this engagement. Engagement? What's going on here, guys? <laughs> What's going on? But I should be the one asking you that question. What is going on? Why did you call me here tonight to tell me why you don't want to be with me? No. No, no, um, Idris, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry about the way I've been treating you. I'm sorry about keeping you waiting after you proposed. You know, I, I just wasn't sure if you were the right guy for me. Now I know that you are, and I just, I just want to be with you. I love you. I don't want to lose you. I just don't want you to leave me. I, so, I, hey, hey, listen. Love 
conquer us all, right? I love you. I love you more. Well, having said that, uh, would you accept me now for the right reasons? Yes? Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I love you. I love you so much. Congratulations, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Where have you been? You were gone for so long for your medical appointment. I hope everything is okay. Well, old age caught up with me, maybe. <laughs> well, well, well. You to her. Mm -hmm. There is something I've been wanting to tell you. Yes. But I needed to wait for a right time to come. And that time is now. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Well, Miss Itwan, I'm afraid to tell you that your father here has been diagnosed of prostate cancer. What? Relax. Don't be afraid, okay? I'm not going to die immediately. I have managed it for two good years. And I have hope of being a survivor. At least, that means I'll still be able to see my first grandchild. Well, you're going to see all your grandchildren. You're not dying anytime soon. Thank you. At all. Yeah, thank you, my darling. Um, Lila, what have you done to my daughter? Huh? This switch is rather incredibly rapid. <laughs> well, it's the end order that matters. Can we just sit while we wait for our food? Uh, yes, sure. Fine. And that's good. Hold on, the celebration. We need to pop something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's celebrate. I say congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Mariam! Mariam, darling! Sweetheart, come here! Sweet Mariam! 